today I wanted to film a little news segment like I used to because there's been quite a few things going on and quite a few nice new cool things that I thought were interesting and I wanted to share them with you. One of the things that is relatively new is that you can now buy half pans from the watercolor company Roman Schmal. They used to only have full pans but since they are expanding their range with having more sets of half pans, they are also offering half pans now. And there's quite a good selection of them. Of course, it's not as much of a bargain as the full pans are, but sometimes you really want smaller pans. So this is quite a nice solution to that issue. Also, there is one new color from Roman Schmal, well, somewhat new. It's their Autumn Green, which is a really, really beautiful color with some lovely granulation in there. It's the perfect color for spring, even if it's called Autumn Green, in my opinion. Another thing that I noticed while I was doing my usual rounds is about the Schminke granulating colors. The easiest way for me in Canada to acquire them is from Jackson's, so that's where I usually look for them. And I noticed a few things. First of all, they don't have full sets in 5mm tubes. They have these smaller offerings, which is a selection of just three colors, which makes it more affordable. But if you're interested in all five colors of a specific series, it's a bit inconvenient. Also, you can look at the more open stock offerings and there has been some changes there too. Now you can see that you can get the haze colors separately in 5 milliliters and 15 milliliters tubes, but not in half pans, whereas you have other colors that will be available in half pans and 15 ml and others that will be available in all three. And it's not exactly consistent, but I'm glad to see that they're still working on this stuff apparently, since there's always some kind of change going on there. The haze colors weren't available outside of the little set before, and now you can get your favorite one in a much larger tube, which is great. So more cool things that I saw. Holbein is still doing their their collaboration with Yuko Higuchi and I'm always a big fan of the products they release and I'm always curious to see what will be the new offerings every season or every year and I gotta say I think this one is the most epic I've seen from them. So you have this box of tubes, I think it's the full range of the Holbein watercolors and every label is special in that it has a drawing on it and also there is this really big ceramic palette which is really cool looking and and it's quite next level in my opinion. I think it's really cool. Other cool things quickly, I saw that the Blackwing company that makes the pencils, the graphite pencil, they have a special tabletop game edition right now and I think it's quite cool. It comes with its own d20 and the pencils are really nice. I also saw that Moleskin is doing a collab with Caveco and I quite like the Caveco pens so I thought this was really cool. And finally, a couple of more new things. First of all, uh, you can find on Jackson's this new company of shimmer, chameleon, special colors. I don't know how to say the name. It's Ye... I... You... I... I don't know. I-U-I-L-E. And it's made in California from what I've seen. And they look really cool, but I'm a bit unsure in the sense that as much as I love shimmery or special effect paints, I never quite know how to use them and I already have a good selection of them. But I'm excited to see these paints uh, perhaps in more reviews or something and perhaps I can review them someday, but we'll see. For now, they look really good in the photographs, I gotta say. They're super shiny and really interesting effects. And the last little thing is that I saw that Da Vinci has new colors. Most of them are mixes of various pigments. There's a one or two that is perhaps a new single pigment paint to their range, but overall it's always interesting to see new things that come up and new options from a company. That's it for this little watercolor news slash cool stuff roundup. I haven't found any particular really news news elements yet, but I'll keep looking and when I find something, I will make sure to make another little news video here. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.